hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added the player rifle now in this video we will add shooting to our rifle so that we can shoot down zombies right here in the scripts folder we will create another c sharp script by the name of rifle and then inside the player body hip spine we have this akm so just simply drag and drop the script there okay we now have the right script let's open this up inside visual studio code let's remove these functions right here we will add a header by the name of rifle things or you can name this whatever you want first of all we need a reference to our main camera so we will say public camera cam and then we will create a public float by the name of give damage of and this will basically the damage value that our rifle will give to the zombie and we want to give a damage of 10 okay you can set this value to whatever you want for example 5 10 20 15 okay but i will keep this fairly simple and set it to 10 after that we want the shooting range for the rifle because we don't want the rifle to shoot in infinity range okay we want to restrict that to 100f then after this let's go ahead and create a function so we will say private void let's name this as shoot and let me tell you guys that we will shoot using the raycast system in unity and what does raycast in unity means raycast is fairly simple in unity let me show you that by a visual example as you can see we have added a reference to our camera so this will be our player main camera and from this main camera we will raycast an invisible ray in the forward direction and as i told you we don't want that ray that invisible ray to go in the forward direction infinity so that's why we restricted that invisible ray ray by 100 f so whatever comes inside this range okay the shooting range and get hit so for example if the zombie is inside this shooting range and we hit the zombie then we will damage the zombie okay so that's how the raycast works it just simply shoots out an invisible ray and you can actually set the position of that ray if you want to uh, raycast it in the forward direction then you can forward it in the backward you can also do that left light whatever you want but as you know when the players shoot it shoots in the forward direction so we will create an invisible ray in the forward direction and if it hits the zombie then the zombie will be get damage okay so this was a visual example of the raycast now let's type this and see how does it work using the script okay so as i told you we have a reference to our main camera we have the give damage of variable we have the shooting range variable now what we want to do we want to now uh, raycast an uh, invisible ray so for that right here in the shoot function we will say raycast hit and let's name this as hit info and basically in this hit info we will store the information about that object what we hit it so for example if we hit the floor you can say the terrain or if we hit the uh, house or a bench or a zombie then we will store information about that after this what we will do we will say physics dot raycast okay and then we want to raycast array from our main camera so we will say cam dot transform dot forward and also we want to get the camera position as well so we will say in the start 
that came dot transform dot position okay when we get the position then we want to ray cast an invisible ray in the forward direction so we will use this and after that we will we will get all of the information about what we hit so for that we will say out and we will call this raycast it variable which is hit info and after this we want to restrict this by the range so as you can see we have the shooting range so we will say shooting range okay and in this manner we can shoot out an invisible array at the start let's just use an if condition so if we are recasting array okay we will recast array in the forward direction we will get all of the information about what object we hit under the shooting range and when we hit something we want to show that object name in our console for now okay so for that what we will do we will say debug dot log let's type hit dot transform dot name and basically it is hit info so we will say hit info dot transform dot name you can actually find the position as well if you want but we don't want the position we want the name so we will simply type hit info dot transform dot name so I hope you understand this. We will recast an invisible ray in the forward direction and we will recast a ray in the shooting range only, okay, which is 100F. And whatever we hit inside the shooting range, we will get all of the info about that object and we will simply show that object name. Let's save this. Get back to Unity. Right here we have the script. Okay. We will assign the main camera we have the keep damage of and shooting range right there now we can just simply play the game and now our main camera is pointing right there so if we now try to shoot nothing will happen because we created this function but we didn't tell the script that when to call this function so for that what we will do we will create a update function and inside this update function we will say input dot get button down and if that button is the fire one button or we can say the mouse left button then what we want to do we want to shoot so we will simply call the shoot function right here let's save this and now if we play the game now if we try to press the mouse left button as you can see now we are hitting the button you can see the console now let's try to hit something else for example this house as you can see now it shows that we hit the k1 just one time and you can actually set this to collapse but it will just mess up the console so i'll just like it like this okay now as you can see we hit the k1 door as you can see now let's try to hit that building as you can see it is hitting the fence actually we don't have the aiming system and we don't have the crosshair so that's why it will hit whatever this want but we will work on that as well and then when we try to hit something we will just focus on that and hit it okay but now as you know it works we hit many objects and it shows the object name so it means that shooting with raycast is working and in the next video we will continue our work on the rifle we will add different functions okay for example the muzzle spark the uh, rifle other effects when we hit the zombie and we will add sounds and different things okay we will add the ammunition the magazines etc etc 
So with this done, catch you guys in the next one.